Hi everybody, it's Rita Smith, number one food fairy. Um, just second to my recipe that I just gave you for mashed potatoes. I thought it would be fun to share with you the best use for mashed potatoes that I've come across in a decade or more. Um, I was in a little Irish pub called The Village in Bowmanville about six months ago getting my hair done at Salon Blunt with Jason and all of his team. Um, the Village, which is right in downtown Bowmanville, is just a fabulous little, um, wow, uh, you know, piece away from home. Fantastic wood furniture, wood boots, 19 different kinds of draft beer. And I ordered um, the fish, and uh, which came fried. It was lovely. And with it came this side dish that I'd never had before um, called Cole Cannon. Um, and given that I'm Irish, and my family, you know, has eaten a lot of potatoes growing up, and I've cooked a lot of potatoes growing up, I was surprised that I had never had cold cannon before, as was my waitress, who said to me, oh my God, you've never had it before? Cold cannon is uh, cabbage and onion, or some variation of cabbage and onion, fried. I have fried this in a little bit of bacon fat, not very much really at all. Um, a little bit of bacon fat in a giant 15-inch uh, cast iron pan. And uh, so the cabbage is pretty well wilted and the onion is pretty well brown. Um, and so then what happens next in Colcannon, uh, a classic Irish dish, is you add mashed potatoes. So, since I had ma made mashed potatoes earlier today, I thought, well, why, why not make a big plate full of coke cannon um, and what I have found it is just amazing to do with is um, fried eggs for breakfast. I, I just I love fried eggs for breakfast with coke cannon um, or when I teach at night and I get home late at night um, and I'm kind of too tired to really address a proper meal but I still need some comfort food. Um, Cocannon, which is cabbage, onions, properly mashed potatoes, warmed up in a cast iron frying pan, and then I uh, drop a couple of eggs into either that pan or another pan. Um, it gives you green vegetables, uh, potatoes, onions, kind of everything your tummy needs before falling asleep at the end of a long night or a long day. Um, so it's great comfort food at night and it's great breakfast food in the morning. Um, it's, I think it's, I think cold cannon has everything. And uh, I have seen recipes on the web where people are making it with bok choy, people are making it with kale, um, anything cabbage like or cabbage ish is being, um, uh, uh, you put to service in cold cannon. And uh, as long as you make a good batch of mashed potatoes, which I think I'm pretty good at making mashed potatoes, my family will vouch for me, um, then uh, you simply, you could do a couple of different things. You could warm it and just serve it warm, which is how they served it to me at the village in Bowmanville. And I just about lost my mind just over the fact that it was uh, mashed potatoes with fried cabbage and onions. But you can also turn it into a little bit of a patty and serve it as a, a patty with your fried eggs. So what I've got done over here, I took some of the same bacon fat that I used uh, to fry the cabbage and the onions. I warmed some in a frying pan. So I'm just going to move, I'm going to do a little dosy -si dough -si -do between these two pans here. Okay. So this cold cannon will continue to warm over there and maybe even so much as cook. And I'm going to take just a small amount of it as a patty to brown it in a smaller frying pan. Um, in the smaller frying pan it will um, also be in a little bit of bacon fat, just a little bit. I mean it doesn't, in a cast iron pan it takes hardly any to um, Hardly any to make the pan slippery and hot and exactly as you would hope it would be. So I'll turn this one down and off over here. Pan looks pretty nice and clean and nothing's going to happen here. And momentarily I'm going to flip this and you'll see it gets really nice and brown. Almost like a burger patty, which is the 
mashed potato patty and uh, the cabbage and the onion. And then along with that, as it cooks, I'll toss in an egg or two. And so what we'll have there will be a patty of cold cannon, mashed potatoes, cabbage, and onion. Oh, it could be a lot browner. I could have left that a lot longer. It can turn almost brown to the point of being black. But um, I don't have that much time to videotape. So uh, that'll be a little bit crispy, and hopefully the bottom will be crispy too. I'll flip that before I take it out to show you how it could go. We'll put some eggs in there. In a tiny bit of bacon fat in a nice hot cast iron pan. And uh, we'll let that go for just a second. The way we like our eggs to be. The rest of the cold cannon um, will go into containers to be my lunch, my breakfast, my dinner, whatever is going on for the next several days. Um, I will say that whenever you want something nice and hot and comforty, um, warm uh, fried patty of cold cannon with two fried eggs takes about, mm, what, at the maximum three minutes. And um, it is a great end to a busy day. Or it could be a good start to a day. Although I probably want to have a nap after I eat this, so maybe it maybe it'd be a good start to a Sunday. Okay, we're gonna let those just cook on the other side. Oh, we're getting a little bit browner there. We'll let that continue to cook. And that is, with the exception of a yellow vegetable, unless you count an onion, maybe you could put some spinach with it if you wanted to. Um, but in terms of comfort food and uh, easy and comfortable to eat after a long day, <laughs> mashed potatoes, cabbage, onions, and two fried eggs in, uh, in a, a cast iron frying pan is just an ideal short, quick, happy meal. And if you make a ton of cold cannon, which you know, like really, if, even if you use only a half of a cabbage, and a whole onion and some mashed potatoes, you've still got a pretty good um, serving of cold cannon that's going to last you for a few meals anyway. Um, oh my gosh, it's so yummy. It's so delicious, so crispy and comforting. And there's the cast iron frying pan is just done. It's easy, it's clean, it's done. Cold cannon and fried eggs. Um, and you can have cold cannon as a vegetable with anything that you're cooking. Um, a great way to use up leftover mashed potatoes and a great way to either get you started or bring you home after a big busy day. And thank you to the Village Restaurant in Bowmanville for introducing me to cold cannon. Uh, good luck everybody. Have a great time and be confident in the kitchen.